All right, so I found a pretty good stack uh, I'm going to uh, showcase today. Um, probably not going to use the absolute best case scenario, like for or like for maybe like a full offense uh, style of uh, player. You know, if you wanted to go with like a Zerker armor or something like that, um, it would uh, probably be pretty insane actually. But uh, I get bored sometimes, and I discovered this using actual. Um, um, the Neko uh, sub race, and I'm actually going to use the Luna Neko. When I first came, kind of came back to playing this game uh, after an extended period of time, uh, I guess they had not been released yet, and so I just kind of discovered them. And the, the Luna Neko was the first ones I played with, and I liked them a lot. And I've kept the armors, and sometimes I switch over, um, but. A few of these items are pay-to-play items, but I wanted to show the stack here. All right, so I've got my Lucky Beast Mage, um, Luna, uh, Luna Neko, which has a Dexterity and Luck toggle. And they also have the uh, plus 4.25 BTH ability, so I'm gaining back some lost BTH naturally. I'm not too concerned about uh, blocking. Um, then I've got the Moglicorn booster guest here. So having both uh, intelligence and charisma, I'm maxing both out. As you can see, ma uh, magic is 61.8% increase. And then lust is, uh, or envy, I also have the fire versions, Ramsey and Lust, and I do the same thing with both. Um, Envy, it says, is empowering you to attack more potently, increasing your lucky strike rate by 43.23%. So if you have a 10% base, right now my lucky strikes are 53%. So more than half of my attacks will be lucky striked. All right, so I'm just going to leave Earth at 100 with Prime Chaos Orb toggling. I'm gonna show you something real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and increase my SP. Let's go ahead and do Arcane Amplification. Let's go ahead and do a Gandolphin to give me a, a buffer. I've also got these new Talon Towers, which you can toggle to do three different elements. So let's go ahead and find, and I don't remember the, I think this one is Earth here. This one is Earth here, so I've got 14% to Earth now. Alright. So 14% to Earth with the 430. If I wanted to, I could come up over here and stack with Gandolphin. Now I'm up to 853. So I should be good to go. This is not a difficult monster. This guy. So this is my fire uh, weapon that I've been using. Tough Love Wand. Then the mountains talon focus. But watch what I'm going to do. If you guys remember this time killer spell. So now I've got 53, now I've got 63. Now I've got 73. Now I've got 83% lucky strike. When you have the 30% hyper crit stacked with your 10% base, stacked with your Envy. Now I'm just going to um, have a couple options. I could do Warlicks for more damage. Let's go ahead and do this guy here. Or I could just, let's just rejuvenate. This guy has a toggle. Click to have your weapon attempt to siphon life. It's going to be reduced damage. Let's go ahead and do that, and you're going to see the reduced damage. 
I will uh, heal based on the poison that it will inflict. All right. And because this is Luna Neko, every turn I will inflict, attempt to inflict bleed and an earth burn. I also, if I wanted to, I could do the Ellie Vaughn from, I got the Necromancer Cavalry stack, the Fire Necromancer Cavalry stack, just to try it out. But you're going to see this is reduced damage from the wand. That last hit did a thousand, but because this is a, a party, it probably would have killed if it was a single monster with that minute. So just two rounds. Alright, so let's do this monster. It's not going to be particularly... This guy can be pretty tough. Can't remember... Heal my SP first. And let's do this guy. Just do rejuvenating. Increase my damage here. I'm not going to use my BTH cast here. Just I just want to see how the accuracy does here. Cast it one more time. So now I'm up to 93%. And that was a mistake not doing my accuracy boost. I think these wands have a negative BTH lean, actually. Time. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to the fire version. like this wand because it's a five hit special. It also attempts to inflict the fire version of freeze. Thermal shock I think it's called. Alright. So not only do I have a luck toggle from Luna, but I have plus 49 from the time killer so I got 349 here. I, this could be one or two rounds and that'll take all of that uh, 3,000 I'm betting so it just took two rounds for those that have never looked at the calculations uh, if you have luck as far as booster pets go, the Lust and Envy actually outperform uh, the standard booster pets like Poalala, Thernda, whatnot, and even, uh, out, I think it outperforms the pet version of these guys because of how Lucky Strikes works. I'll do one more monster. Alright, got fire there. So 
again, this will probably be two rounds. I guess it could be because you got 160. This could be one round. Let's do one more time because I will rejuvenate quite a bit of it. Here we go. Almost one round. Rejuvenated 818 that time. So every hit's a lucky strike. So there you have it. It's kind of the new stack that I found. I may run with this for a while. Uh, this is a pretty badass little stack, if you ask me. Anyway, thanks.